Coconut oil is pure poison. And the reason I'm making this is because this woman has an education that, listen, I, I cannot say what I would do for an education that this woman had. This woman, uh, she went to Columbia, Harvard, Cambridge, 15 years of education that I'm sure anyone would kill for. And this woman did a German talk in 50 minutes that I was actually unable to listen to. But what this woman is saying to me is not indicative of her intelligence. For her to blatantly say these things, the way she's saying them, and not know the science or information behind them, to me does not make sense. It is very obvious that she is either being paid for or whatever they taught her in those 15 years of her education was apparently incorrect. So she says, coconut oil is more dangerous for our hearts than lard because it is almost entirely made up of saturated fatty acids, which may block our arteries. Really? Fat clogs your arteries? So Peter Atia explains this the best. And I'm going to link this in the comments. And what basically happens is oxidized cholesterol gets into the arterial wall, becomes inflamed, leads to more inflammation. That's what causes arterial blockage, not fats. What she would have had to say was saturated fat and ox can become oxidized in the bloodstream, enter the arterial wall, and cause heart disease. It would have been super simple for her to say that, and then it would have been very difficult to make an argument against that from an oxidation standpoint and what fats actually cause oxidation in the bloodstream, but she didn't, you know, uh, that would make it more complicated and hard to explain. And then she just said, coconut oil increases LDL, a cause of cardiovascular disease, and has no known benefits. But there have been pl I have plenty of studies in my past videos, and I'll, I'll link them again here. Saturated fat in the diet has not been indicated to increase blood levels of LDL in people. It is very variable depending on the person. That is another thing that is blatantly incorrect that is she's just saying that when looked at at face value in the context of conventional wisdom and American culture people just believe it but what really irritated me and what struck me to make this video health experts believe rapeseed and flaxseed oil which contain a lot of unsaturated fatty acids soybean sunflower corn oil made up of polyunsaturated fats are good alternatives these oils and these vegetable oils are literally the oxidized fats that cause inflammation and arterial blockage. So what this woman is saying is that saturated fat, which is not oxidized, causes no inflammation and no problems in humans, is worse for you than specific vegetable oils and oxidized and rancid oils that are known to cause arterial buildup in anyone who has done any sort of research into vegetable oils or oxidized fats. What, what she's basically saying is saturated fat causes arterial blockage, but it doesn't. Oxidized fats cause arterial blockage. But then she goes to say oxidized fats are what you should be eating for heart health. So this, if, she, if any part of this article was correct, she would just be contradicting herself. So to me, what this indicates is possibly there was some funding for these vegetable oil companies. Maybe coconut oil sales are really high and these other oils are super low. But for them to say this is pure propaganda. How soybean oil is made. The beans are cracked, heated, rolled into flakes, solvent extracted with hexanes, blended for different applications, refined, hydrogenated. Same thing with corn oil. These oils she's recommending are oxidized, rancid laboratory experiments. Soybean, corn oil are literally the reason people are dying of heart disease in the United States. And I, I, tr I have never spoken out against these because I'm honestly afraid for my own well-being in speaking out against the companies that have so much money invested into these. Literally every restaurant uses soybean oil. But these oils are literally poison. And it's the reason... May, one of the main reasons in combination with sugar and refined foods that contain these oils and sugar are killing our health. It's pretty much rancid, oxidized vegetable oils and sugar is what's killing our health. And she's saying that we should keep eating 
blatantly obvious this woman is being paid to say this, considering that someone of her intelligence would understand all of these things I mentioned in regards to inflammation, heart disease, oxidized fats. And if they don't, then why did they spend 15 years in school? What did they learn? Uh, please, guys, if anything, share this video. Let people know the dangers of these fats. Daily makeup check, guys, for any of you clowns. I don't, I don't draw on my eyebrows. You know, I don't wear makeup. I don't wear eyeliner. I'm not wearing lip gloss. I am not wearing anything on my face right now. There's nothing on my hands. I wipe. I wipe my my face with my shirt. There's nothing on my shirt. There's nothing on my shirt. Okay? I'm, I don't wear makeup, guys. Please. Uh, that was the daily makeup check. If you guys want to support me, uh, you know, please, you know, I'm trying to be more active on Twitter and Instagram. Please check those out. If you'd like to, you could sub to here on YouTube. Uh, but above all, guys, just, you know, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. And if you can, share it with someone else. Uh, and of course, there's a whole bunch of other ways you could support me down below, as well as just some links to some other like podcasts and stuff I've been on.